She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Vega. Vega. And this is not about soulmates. More to explore. to today's vlog where we continue through the Stockton Brook locks along the beautiful Calden Canal and continue towards the village of Ender. few drips and there's Ellie. Did you have to empty that did you? Yeah? 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 This is the second, I think, of the locks in the Stockbrook flight. We've got a bit of artwork on the left. There's some sculpture work. Nice and slowly, taking our time. Don't think so. Everybody saw it's raining for the day, let's park up. But Pete decided, let's go a bit later. Well, Ali shuns a lift, put the bow in, ready for her. What? How she expects me to hear that? I'm stood above an engine, and this is a pretty quiet engine, to be fair. But she's 50 meters away, and she's telling me something and pointing. I'll have to get it translated. Anyway. Hello? Ali was calling me. And she couldn't shout to me, tell me, low bridge, look out, mind your chimney. And of course I will. So let's have a look. Let's just pull up here and see. Just starting to dry and rain again. Open my big mouth again about how lovely it was. What happens? Yeah. There we are. We're going to try and progress in now. Ali was panicking about our chimney, but I think you can see there's a comfortable gap. At least, what? I don't know. Depends whether you're on it metric. 12 inches at least. I'm going to have to duck. It's a bit dark and dismal down here. Bit of dripping off the bridge. Here we go. Oh, there's the Aussie up there. You're not a very good judge of how high things are, Ali. Why did that guy come right up to the lock when it wasn't even open? He didn't say anything. I didn't. He was actually at his nose against the gates. I was measuring. I was measuring. Look at this lovely little flower arrangement, should we call it? No wonder when she made me a pair of trousers when she was doing a bit of sewing. It was five times too big. Look at this for an autumnal scene. 
Yes. Here's another piece of artwork. Sculpture. And yeah, look at that. Definitely a bit of... Those leaves are starting to drop and change colour. Lovely tree there. Sounds like an ambulance. Yep, there it goes. Ziggy's just missed out on seeing one of his favourite dogs he likes to play with, the Whippet. And yes, just on the horizon you can see the next lock we're going to go to. Yes, very autumnal as you can see. of us. Ali thought it was the last lock behind us but now we've got one more. Look at that. Yes, that one's definitely leaking. So she's striding up there purposefully. She thought it was going to jump on the bow and uh, have a little bit of a rest but not to be. I've offered. She doesn't want to swap places. I'm quite happy to do it if she'd like that. But no, she'd rather get out do the exercise and enjoy the walk feels a little bit wider than the previous lock I reckon I said did you smell the chicken darling I suddenly smelled chicken from somewhere because I'm shouting can you smell the chicken Ali <laughs> I was pointing at me nose you donkey <laughs> no obviously you wouldn't be able to notice on mine No, I was thinking, should we do it? You want to put it in? Break? What's that? You don't get a break when you're at the tiller. You constantly got to be vigilant. You've got to be vigilant at the tiller. You can't afford to take a break. So. It's like the towpath disappears for a little bit here. It is on the right. And we're going through. Ali's gone down through the boat to get to the bow. And then we'll go from there, see what's happening. Ah, what's up there? This is on the left, that's why. Switched over, Ali, to the left. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. All right. Onwards and upwards on the Colden Canal. Just been through that one. That was good. We sorted that one out pretty quickly. Yes, we've definitely got autumn on the way. The colours are changing. Some of the trees are losing their leaves. 
as you can see that's definitely uh, autumnal this one's all right though look at those clouds and some of the peaks of the peak district I presume ahead there's one of the canal and river trust barges that are used to move various things and we're out into open canal and open countryside again where's the duck coming along flying but it's gone the other way now yes yeah, certainly opened out now as you can see Have been a bit of a flood to get that narrow boat up there. Hopefully, it's up there for renovation and then back in at some stage in the future. Yeah, gorgeous here along with the Colden Canal. Oh, it's a beautiful property. Don't fall in. These piles of weed floating down. Don't want them tangled up in your prop. Otherwise, it could be a right bit of trouble. Plenty of ducks here, Zeke. Eh? Plenty of ducks for you to have a look at. Oh, something's happening there. Bit of trouble. Bit of trouble. Oh, yeah. Brewing. Bit of trouble brewing. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Hi. Yeah, good. Good to see this blue sky. I'm heading towards blue sky. <laughs> good change in five minutes, sir. Yeah, under the bridge. And what we got ahead? Stoke on Trent Boat Club to the left of us there. This is a bit of a natural winding hole, isn't it? You need to turn around. Oh, we're going to 
carry on up the cauldron. Onwards and upwards. Wow, got some lovely big fluffy clouds there. And open countryside. What more could you ask for? Really? No, you could. Beautiful. Just the job. bit. Watching out. Uh, uh, uh. Think he's having a look round the back. Hey? Yeah, I suppose so. You just don't know when it's going to change. Going past the post lane visitor moorings. 24 hours maximum time to moor up on your way up the Colden Canal. Beautiful spot though. Just change the camera till you can see the front. chunk of blue sky in the background here we've got a few dark clouds but where we're heading looking good coming up to bridge 29 Six inches to the chimney, I'd say. Turning out to be a gorgeous autumn day. You wouldn't have thought this a few hours ago when it was grey, raining. Yeah. Just can't tell, can you? Mooring. 
very popular spot as you can see just the job up and empty some of our rubbish we haven't got much I don't think it only seems like two days since we did it but better take the opportunity while we can here we are we've got some facilities to use here well here we are moving off from the services here it was it called park drive or park something beautiful with the blue skies there was a clue somewhere isn't there yeah park lane services as per the sign And I think we're going to progress all of about 50 metres to this bit of Armco, park up overnight and get off pretty handy in the morning for a change. Instead of having a lion like we have the last two days. Lazy bees. Yeah, nice and tight. See that side. Let's have a look this side for you. Yeah, a little bit of room this side. And away we go. Ready? Oh yes. So as you come out of here, on the bridge 31, there's just this little bit of arm curve, just enough for narrowboat soulmates to pull in hopefully. Yes, and so we moored up here. I think the actual village is called Endon on this little bit of arm curve for the night and uh, what a great day's cruising it had been so i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did click the like button if you'd like to subscribe please click the subscribe button if you'd like to hear when the next one's out then please click the bell thanks for tuning in everybody have a good one